Hello, this is Laura Holmgren with the Polytechnic School EdTech Instructional Screencast on Writing and Publishing Blog Entries. This presentation will show you how to use the text editor to create your posts and how to use online text conventions. You will also learn the difference between saving a draft and publishing your entry online. Once you log into your Google Apps account and navigate to Blogger, you're ready to start writing. From your dashboard, click New Post. This will take you to a window that includes a number of tools that should be familiar from your word processing program. The point of the post title is to grab your reader's attention, so try to include a creative title. For the purposes of an English class, we also want you to include the number of the assignment, which we'll list on the syllabus for you. Click inside the text field and type your content. There are a couple of things that are different about typing online than typing in a paper. First, don't indent your paragraphs. Second, everything is going to be single spaced, but you're going to double space between the paragraphs. And third, your paragraphs are going to be much shorter than they are in a paper. When you're finished, click Preview to see how your post will look in the context of your blog. If you're happy with it, close this window and go back to your main screen. In the next section, you'll learn about the distinction between saving and publishing. A critical distinction when your blog entry is an assignment with a specific due date. There is a very important difference between publish and save. When you're ready for your post to go out on the web for your teacher, your peers, in fact everyone in the universe to see, click the publish button. When you just want to save a draft, perhaps to continue working on your post later, click save. Very important to note, teachers cannot see anything that is saved, only things that are published. After you publish or save, you'll end up at this screen which will list all of your posts. You can roll over the name of your post and see some more editing options. After you post, it's a good idea to check View Blog to make sure that your post is visible. If you can't see it there on your page, neither can the teacher. In the next installment of this video series, we'll look at how to insert a picture into your blog. This has been a Polytechnic School EdTech instructional screencast. Thanks for watching and happy writing!